Today we are going to take you to the islands of the Caribbean and to the northeastern coast of South America without buying a plane ticket or hopping on a plane. We're going to Guyana and to Trinidad and Tobago today. So we're going to be in South Richmond Hill, South Ozone Park, Queens. It's a very concentrated community for Guyanese and Trinidadian groceries, food, culture. It's one of our favorite food neighborhoods here in New York City. That we rarely go to, it's because it's kind of far from us. We took the bus, and now we're waiting for a train ride. Waiting for the A train and there's a little confusion here. So if you're trying to come visit, there's two A trains. There's the A train that goes to Far Rockaway and JFK Airport. So you'll see a lot of people with their luggage. And then there's the A train that goes to Lefferts Boulevard. That's the one you want to take is the Lefferts Boulevard A train to get here. Lefis Boulevard, last stop on the A train. We are ready to eat. We're gonna hit up about four to five spots today. Depends how we're feeling. I have a lot of different foods. We're gonna get some aloo pie, some double, some roti, some pepper pots, some other baked goods. I'm gonna see what else we can find out here too. Right now at the corner of Liberty Avenue and Lovers Boulevard. So Liberty Avenue is the main strip here in Richmond Hill, Ozone Park. For a lot, there's a lot of shops here, a lot of restaurants. Uh, but Shopping our first centers. Yeah, a lot of that. But actually, our first stop is going to take us down Lovers Boulevard, off this main strip, to our favorite spot for Trinidadian food, the snacks. So our favorite spot for aloo pies and weekend only bacon shark. It's called Trin City. So we're going to take you there now. Let's do it. Trin City. We've mentioned before that we come, we don't come here often, but whenever we get a long flight to Asia, we made sure to stop by. This spot is very convenient to JFK Airport. It's very close by. So we've been coming here for about four to five years. And what we really love from them are their alu pies. Alu pie is a fried dough. It has a little potato inside of it. And then it's stuffed with chickpeas. It's very portable. That's why we like to take it on trips with us. It's very easy to eat. And what's special here is on the weekends they have a bacon shark. It's a classic Trinidadian sandwich that's often found on Maracas Beach. Not been yet. Yet is the key. We're gonna go. But they only have it here on Saturdays and Sundays. It's delicious. We're gonna get that as well. I'm starving. Let's go. Hello. We have uh, three apple pie and one bacon shark, please. Everything, please. Thank you. Bacon shark. <laughs> Bacon shark. <laughs> Bake is this fry bread on top. Then we have fried shark meat buried in here. We have all these different chutneys, mayo, there's mint chutney, there's cucumber, there's a slice of ripe pineapple, there's cabbage, there's lettuce, there's tomato. This thing is packed. Look at that. Mmm. Shark is so meaty, juicy. It's got the creaminess of the mayo. It's got that 
spicy. It's got that pepper in there. It's got a little pepper. It's got everything. It's got the crunchiness from the veggies. And now you got the pineapple in there too. Mm. That really puts everything together. All oh, that pineapple is so good with sharp, sweet, spice, cream, savory. Man. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but this is pineapple, tomato, cabbage, and of course shark. We got so much going on. So the bacon shark was incredible. Now we got our favorite plain food, alu pie. See, see how tightly packed all the ingredients are right there? So you have the chana, the chickpea, of the pepper sauce, the tamarind sauce, all together in this fried bake. It's actually stuffed with potatoes, so if you know what a knish is, especially the old school New York street knish, is, it's very similar. Yeah. So let's take that first bite. The out of control flavor in that one bite. You got that really spicy pepper that hits you. And you got the crunchy cucumber. And you have those soft curry chickpeas. And then the inside of it itself, the potato has cumin flavor. And that's spicy, sweet, tangy. The textures are soft. The little crunch, oh man. This is really one of my favorite foods, period. Not just in Queens, not just in period. This is like, and all it is, it's a buck fifty for one of these. A few of these and you're full. That's why we take these on the plane. Every couple hours you eat one of these, it fills you up. This is, this is unbelievably good. It really is. This little space right here is, used to be their old space. Yeah, they're so popular and so good and now they've expanded to a much larger storefront. So we're very happy for them. They're an incredible place. We are off to our second stop. First stop was a great success, but our second stop is going to be really interesting. It's a fusion of Chinese food and Caribbean food. We've both never been. Both never been to the spot. It's called Good Hope. So we hope that the food is good, right? <laughs> Corny as hell, I know. <laughs> we have made it to Good Hope. Yep. Stop two. So we see some interesting stuff here. Fried rice with jerk pork. We got that Caribbean, that Chinese. I like that. I like those kind of mashups. We've had this kind of food before. It's really good. So I'm curious to see how they do it here. Uh, cha -cha -kai chicken. And uh, one more thing. And uh, jerk pork fried rice, please. Okay. Thank you. All right, so our first dish has arrived. It's called cha cha kai chicken. It, uh, it's fried chicken pieces with chopped scallions, peppers here, and it smells like it could be a little spicy. It looks very crispy. This almost this reminds me a lot of like the Chinese American fusion, kind of like a general cho or sesame chicken, but without the heavy sauce on top. It looks like a dry spice. It looks really interesting. I'm curious to check it out. Seriously, right. can't wait to eat. We got both dishes now. We got the chashikai chicken, and then we have jerk pork fried rice. Let's go. It's got a little vinegary tang to it. Definitely hot. You can see the little seeds. You got the scallions chopped up. It's a really nice dish. It does. It's not saucy. It's really crispy. It's really good. The bone-in chicken too. That's where all the good stuff is, you know. Let's try a bite of this jerk pork. Cover a little bit of rice. Definitely has that Chinese char siu roast pork flavor. That classic Chinese roast pork flavor. It's a little bit of jerk. It's not a not a very dominant jerk flavor in there. Looks like they lacquered a little bit of sauce on there. But this definitely reminds me much more of like a classic Chinese American roast pork fried rice. Very much so. Yeah, it was a very interesting experience. It was more like a bar. It was definitely like a spot for a bunch of guys to chill and drink with some food on the side. It was a very interesting place with full of dudes. Yeah. So that's 5.35 p.m. We started this crawl at around, we actually got here at like 1.30, 2 o'clock. Yes. Yeah. And now we are on our third stop. We'll try a new dish tonight, a traditional Guyanese dish we have never tried before called pepper pot. We've been to Sybil's many times, yeah. but we've never tried this dish. Yeah, we're ever. excited to check it out. Seven. Where's that? Uh, pepper pot. I just got it by myself. A Guyanese chicken patty. Uh, two. One tennis roll and one pineapple tart, please. That's here. Oh, got some stuff. Got a little more stuff than I expected to get, but 
that's what we do. Like little baked goods. Just to let you know, this is a third stop. This thing called tennis roll. What's it's in like here? With, it's like with cheese. And? Slice of, this is a slice of cheese inside. But it's like a, it's like a traditional Chinese roll. Oh, I got these chicken, chicken patties. They're supposed to be really good. And pineapple tart. And then we got the pepper pot, which I'm very excited about. This is the famous pepper pot. We have a piece of oxtail. There's a little piece of star anise right there too. And there's cinnamon cloves. I don't think it's in this specific batch, but there's cinnamon cloves in here as well. So it looks very tender. Look at this, it's strikingly dark sauce here. Look at this, it's a very slow cooked dish. Looks like a lot of love is put into this. Ooh, look at this cartilage bit. Mm. You can really taste that star anise. Slightly sweet. Oh, then the little heat comes through after. Kind of feel a tingle in my nose there. A little heat. Now it's got a little piece on the bone. Mm. The flavor, the combo of that dark sauce with the oxtail and beef is just such a nice combination. Look at this tender meat. It just comes right off the bone. It's delicious. Dark sauce comes from uh, Casa Reef, which is part, it's a, made from cassava root. It's a real dark liquid. So it, it really goes well with this kind of meat. You get that nice cartilage. You can really like that collagen. It's like eating cow foot, chicken foot. It's all that good stuff, good for your skin. I grew up eating Jamaican patties a lot, Jamaican beef patties, and later on Jamaican jerk chicken patties, but never tried a Guyanese patty before. So this is the Guyanese chicken patty. Let's check it out. Outside pastry is really flaky. It's really nice. Chicken is densely packed inside. We still have that layer of pastry on the outside. It's good. It's not too buttery either. It's really, really nice. Great first time trying this. As you can see, yeah. it's nighttime. Yep. Um, we are heading to our last stop. Well, it may not be the last. Heading to our next stop. Our next stop. Okay. Sings. So we're taking it. Sybil's was Guyanese. And now we're going back to Trinidad and Tobago once again to Sings. Yes. Sings is a longtime favorite. First place I tried Trinidadian food way back in the day, 15 years ago, we'll say. My mom introduced me to it. She heard it from some friends. So this spot is great. They have awesome dapuri roti. I'm gonna get that with some goat curry. I'm gonna get some doubles, the classic Trinidadian snack. The two pieces of bake, the fried bread with the chickpeas inside. Similar to the aloo pie we had earlier, just without the aloo, without the potato. One go, one and uh, one oxtail, one double. Also have our first dish from Sings. This crazy double right here. It's packed to the brim with chana, with the chickpeas. So it's similar to the aloo pie we had earlier, Except there's no alu in here, there's no potato. There's just the bake, the two pieces of bake, the fried bread on the outside, with the chana chickpeas inside, with tamarind sauce, with pepper sauce, with cucumber, I believe. There's carrots. Carrots. Chickpeas yep. for sure. Let's take that bite. It's nice switch up from the alu pie, because the potato doesn't block out the flavor of the chickpeas and you taste more of the bake as a result. As much as we love aloo pies, and we do, the doubles are very nice too. They're both so delicious. And the chana was exploding out of that bite. Trinidadian food, dining food, it's some of our favorites. Because you get that Indian and that Caribbean fusion is beautiful. Oh, I love First, this place. This is a We're gonna tell you how big this order they gave us. <laughs> with potatoes and curry. So much curry in here. And the dalpuri roti, look at this thing. It weighs about a pound or two, you know, it's heavy. But this was all under 10 bucks.
first bite is going to be of this potato. Mm. It's so soft. So some potatoes can be underdone, tough. This is really soft. It absorbs all the flavor of that curry. It's just been stewing in that curry in the front for hours. And now that it's been in this container with the goat for a little while, it's absorbed some of that nice goat flavor too. It's great. Let's actually get to the goat meat. This big chunk of goat. We have some bone in, but this is a boneless piece right here. Let's take a bite. Mm. What's nice is the goat is chewy in a good way, with a bit of tenderness. It's not like fall off the bone, melt in your mouth tender, but it's got that good combo of chew and tenderness. It's really good. It's very meaty. They also have a juice bar. Yeah, tiger bowl. Shake the weed grass. Thank you. That's Hello. drink. Cheers. Like, like napkins for days, for years, for centuries. <laughs> oh my god, this is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> 